and then install the new front for the kick drum. Next is the camera. First put on the square camera housing and also there is a mouth clevis to be exchanged. Then his mask and finally the speaker box cover for the camera. Next is Jasper. Now the first thing you want to do with Jasper is to exchange the eyes that are in Rolf for the eyes that are in Jasper so that Jasper will have brown eyes and Chucky will have blue eyes. Now starting with the costume, first his hands, also exchange the mouth clevis for Jasper, his mask, hat, shirt, overall, guitar strap, and shoes. Next, exchange the old organ front for the new organ front, making sure to destroy the old organ front. Next is Munch, starting with his hands, then mask, cap, body fur, and feet. Next is Helen, starting with her hands, then mask, feather pigtails, blouse with fur sleeves, foam leg pieces and shoes, and finally skirt. And Junior Munch, which is just his mask, and round vent cover. Moving to the Rolf and Earl stage, this should be the very last night of the installation process. Prepare for this night as it will be a long one and everything should be up and operational by morning. First start with Earl. Then vest, shirt, mask, bottom half fur, then feet and left hand. Although not reflected in this picture, all cosmetics should be off for off and Earl. First, remove the rainbow, applause sign, rainbow curtain, symbol, and all floor lights. Next, unbolt the Mac valve quick disconnect, push up through the floor, then unbolt the character and remove. Next, remove all grass from stage right and clean. Make sure to mark center line for stage right, then paint the 2x4 header black. Now, re-carpet stage right, and make sure to cut around existing trap doors. Now, hang black rain curtain on 2x4 header. Attach all pieces on the back side of the star according to the manual, such as the base for the star, the back mounting bracket, and lights on the back of the star. Next, measure the placement of the star from center line according to the manual and using the back mounting bracket, attach it to the wall. Next, measure Chucky according to the manual and bolt down. Cut a two inch hole behind his left leg, push the quick disconnect through the two inch hole and reconnect the Mac valve quick disconnect. Next, lay the big screen TV on its back and remove the casters then put up on stage and position according to the manual. Now plug in all the lights for the star and the TV according to the manual. Now remove the old right arm assembly from Rolf and attach the new right arm assembly for Chucky. It is time now to costume Chucky starting with the hands and ears, mask and hat, Cummerbund vest combination, bottom half fur with suspenders, jacket, base, and feet. Finally, install the big screen facade, which will have a bottom part and a top part, and then make sure to plug in the top light. Remove your spotlight number seven from the spotlight bar and hold for spare parts as it will not be used again. Reposition spots 5 and 6 according to the manual. Install your helicopter light according to the manual. Now in the control room make sure the computer is powered down, take off the top and replace the old EEPROM with the new 3.3 EEPROM. Hook up your video line to the big screen and hook up your computer cables between characters and gray box according to the manual. 
Re-aim and resize all spots for the new positions of the characters, making sure to use Mitzi's old spot for the wink and the old spider spot for Munch Jr. Adjust the high end of the dual pressure regulator down to 70 pounds. And finally, VCR adjusts the show to get correct character movement. If the Chuck E. Cheese neon sign has not yet been installed, it will need to be done at this point. The overall position and look of your stages should resemble these freeze frames. <laughs>